Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I am Subhash Chandra. In this video, I am going to talk about who gets high salary in piping design. Remember, this is not a short term goal or process. It is a long term process where you have to work on to improve your skills and knowledge and experience in order to achieve somewhere around, I would be saying 5 to 6 lakhs per month. 5 to 6 lakhs per month is approximately 66 to 72 lakhs per annum which is not at all an easy money but you can still make it just by improving your skills and knowledge and experience but this is not about improving the general skills in this video i am going to talk about some five key areas so if you focus on this five key areas uh, over your experience you will be able to achieve this dream possibly so let's get into the discussion to understand what are the key areas that you have to start working on because you cannot dream uh, for the biggest salary when you are at 12 years of ex experience or 13 years of experience without skills you have to start working on your skills right from the beginning because that's the most easiest way because you have longer period of time to improve and learn but suddenly if you realize that after 13 14 years you don't have skills then it's not easy for you to improve your skills suddenly actually. So let's focus on what are the five key areas you have to focus on. Point number one, you really have to be really, really good at drafting and modeling. Why am I saying this? Drafting and modeling in piping design is considered to be the ground reality. So being an experienced person, you should be able to handle the team. So how do you handle the team if you do not know what is drafting and what is modeling? Somebody who is working under you can easily able to manipulate saying that this will take 8 hours or 10 hours. But if you have a core experience about the drafting or modeling, you will be able to simply assess that this could be finished within half an hour or one hour. That's the ground reality. So the person who do not have the ground reality cannot become a bigger man, cannot achieve the bigger goal basically. So you have to understand what is drafting, in and out of drafting, in and out of modeling. You really have to be good in these two things actually so that you can easily manage the ground situations in your piping design. This is the point number one. And point number two, you have to work on for the core piping design skills. What are the core piping design skills? One is PNID reading. You really have to be good and extremely good in reading PNID. Only then you will be able to understand the process, right? So piping design is what you have to facilitate the mechanical piping infrastructure for the process. Unless you don't understand the PNID, then how do you develop the process? So PNID, core skill number one. Number two, pipe routing. Number three, pipe supports. Number four is piping material, and number five is pipe stress analysis. Being an experienced person, you have to work on this core skill areas. So, if you develop the core skill areas, then you will be able to manage the whole show. Uh, what I'm saying is making sense to you, I guess. PNID, pipe routing, pipe supports, materials, and stress analysis. These are the core areas. Unless you don't excel in these areas, how you will be able to achieve the higher salary. But remember, this is possible. This is possible over a period of 15 years. You can slowly improve one by one. For that, you have to take some training, you have to read some books, you have to practice, you have to do everything that you have to do in order to achieve this actually. Because finally, your ultimate goal is to improve the knowledge. For that, you have to do everything which is possibly that you can do. So, this is about the second one. You really have to work on your core design skills actually. And point number three design management. Learn design management. What is design management? So design management is nothing but if you get a project, you know how to execute it. You should be able to say, I'm going to start with this. For this, I need these all the things and I'm going to end on this particular date because I have these many constraints. Or you have to uh, able to, um, uh, what do you call, completely plan the activity wise, day wise with respect to the resources and when to complete, what to complete. So design management, it's nothing but the moment the project comes to you, you should be able to clearly sketch the plan for your design. When you will be starting and when you will be ending. What are the inputs you are required and what are the outputs that you are going to deliver actually. You should have a clear cut mind. So, for this what is required is that you have to understand the work process. You have to understand the 
necessity of or the you know, what do you call you have to understand what are the magnitude of work involved in the particular design actually so this comes only by experience this not comes from learning this comes only by experience for that you have to involve yourself you cannot be a person who is too lethargic and spending a lot of um, uh, time in social media and news channels instead of working on you really have to put a lot and lot of effort in terms of your daily activities so that you slowly develop day by day every person has a natural tendency and we are all human the ability of the human being is that once you keep working on it you will slowly adapt it actually so that's one of the best point that all we have to understand so if you keep on working but you have to keep on working for the good things if you keep on working for the bad things like spending time in social media and other things definitely you will slowly develop the bad habits also so keep on working to understand the design management design management it's all about how we are going to take the project and how we are going to deliver the project for that whatever things that you wanted to do you have to do you have to prepare data sheet you have to prepare specification you have to prepare 3d modeling you have to prepare layouts and you have to manage the team every possible things that you have to do you have to do so this is point number 3 let's go to point number 4 point number 4 is all about ability to troubleshoot and fix the problem what does that mean actually once the problem comes to you you should be able to understand the problem without making lot of noise i could see there are people makes a lot of noise about this is not there that is not there when a client comes to you or when somebody uh, comes to you from uh, site or anywhere actually saying that they have some problem in piping first of all you have to assess you have to understand the problem and try to troubleshoot it and fix the problem instead of making instead of blaming the teams and instead of uh, complaining about each other it's not going to work so being a good problem solver it's one of the key skill to get an a high salary because if you are not able to solve problem and how do you expect you to get high salary so what are the key things that are required to become a good troubleshooter to fix the problem first is you have to have a patience to listen from the people who are making noise okay keep listening and try to understand the problem this is step 2 and try to see what are your previous experience try to speak with your peers if you don't understand this problem actually try to find some specifications from international um, uh, documents or any standards which are available within you uh, share with your colleagues and uh, with your team to uh, get the the views from them actually and try to put your thoughts and try to uh, make some uh, drafting and put everything in, uh, in drawing so that you can really find see if you are going to work uh, the design in your mind you have some limitations but if you are going to work in uh, 2d drafting or 3d modeling you will be able to visualize properly so you have to do a necessary calculations you have to do all the ground work instead of just throwing the word i know there are people who uh, just throw the word uh, without doing calculations or checking the actual reality actually see there are cases where it happens that if you just throw an opinion it may not work but if you really put the drawings in uh, the 2d uh, softwares and check whether it is clashing or not and uh, see whether the specification is really applicable or not you have to do the ground reality unless you don't do the ground reality you will not be able to do it so the good troubleshooter is someone who can assess well and prepare well and try to find the best possible solutions by having multiple options you develop multiple options you should be able to develop multiple options like 1 2 3 so this is this possible the if, if this is not possible try to do this and if this is not possible try to go for the option 3 likewise you should be able to um what do you call plan for multiple options actually that will give you an wide range of experience to understand for one problem you have multiple solutions so that's how it is actually let's go to point number 5 the point number 5 is ability to deliver the project on time so that is very important in working in any company or any client actually because if you don't deliver on time then what is the purpose everything has a chain of actions actually if you complete your design construction will start once the constructions are completed actually commissioning will start once the commissioning is done then the plant will start operating with the products actually so that is where the client makes products and that is where they make revenue but if you don't complete the design then how do they start construction so everything has connectivity so deadline it's one of the key thing that you have to focus on but there are times that you may get some unrealistic deadlines as well i agree that so for the unrealistic deadlines you should know 
what should have been done first and what should have been done second if you are doing something which you can do at the last stage in the first stage then definitely you're going to waste time you have to communicate in a way that you have to understand the whole situation and uh, what best you can do in order to expedite it actually in order to at least start the con um, construction on time you have to prepare some preliminary drawing drawings to give it to them and you have to um, ensure that at least the major headers are completely uh, finalized and uh, and the major supports are finalized actually so you have to make an arrangement in order to meet the deadline there are multiple ways to do it actually there are multiple possibilities to do it also actually but all you have to realize is deadline is important in order to meet the deadline what do you have to do if you want to speed up the process you have to speed up the process you can work during weekends you can work more than the general working hours because these are only temporary right you are not going to work for the whole year if you miss a deadline the client won't be happy and then your company won't be happy and you may not get the promotion or increment as you expected so deadline is really must for that you should know how to expedite it that is why i said you should know the ground reality as the first point because drafting and modeling is the ground reality so that is where you really have to uh, put lot of uh, efforts in order to expedite the delivery if you are not good in drafting and modeling you cannot deliver the project on time please take my word so you really have to be good in this ground skills which are considered to be as a primary skill like drafting and uh, modeling so these are the five areas guys so if you focus on these five areas i would strongly say that you will be able to make it 5 to 6 lakhs per month in 15 years of experience but you have to keep on working on so it's not like that you can leave for 5 years and then you can improve see every day is an opportunity for you and every moment you can learn new things so keep learning keep improving and try to achieve your dream in a long term process so that so that you don't have to put lot of effort in a day you can consistently slowly one by one and keep progressing that's the easiest way to achieve the highest salary i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra